everybody. This week's parasha is Parashat Naso. Starts talking about the the carrying of the Levim that wasn't mentioned in last week's parasha. It also speaks about the uh, offerings of the princes that they brought when the Mishkan, the tabernacle, was inaugurated. And it also talks about, the, one of the ideas is Nazir. The Nazir, what was the Nazir? A person who would dedicate themselves, basically make a vow of abstinence, not to drink wine, not to become impure at all, and for a certain point of time. And this word in Hebrew, Nazir, could kind of mean also a crown. It says, Nezer elokav al roshog, the, the crown of God is on their head. And it's showing that we all have the ability to lift ourselves up in holiness, to to and th- and that's why this name of the parsha is Naso, lift up. Not just it's to count, but it's also lift up. The idea is that we have to lift ourselves up in holiness, and this is a, a right after the holiday of Shavuot, where we've internalized the Torah. The Torah has become one in us, and we have the ability to lift ourselves up. So that's why also in this parsha we read the Birchat Kohanim, the blessing of the priest. Which we know it's it's one of the most powerful blessings. By the so should you bless the children as well. May God bless you and guard you. When God blesses us, we don't have to worry about the blessings. We won't get evil eye. We won't get a bad attention. You know, when someone becomes wealthy in this world, he has to worry. Maybe some people are going to steal from him. God's blessing, there is no worry. God is, is protecting you. May God turn his face to you, loving you, and give you grace and give you favor at all times. May God turn his face to you and give you peace, because that is the ultimate blessing. Peace, shalom, wholeness. Wholeness in ourselves, where we don't have conflicting parts of our being. Wholeness in our relationships with our with spouses. Wholeness in the nation that the nation gets along and everything is good and we have peace in the nation. They'll place my name on the children of Israel and I shall bless them. And we, we read this every day, not only the Kohanim, even as regular Jews, we read it in our, in our prayers and our morning blessings to bring this energy in our life. So may we feel it and experience it. God bless you all. Shabbat Shalom.